In this video, I'm reviewing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Donatello, the Mystery Machine, the He-Man, the brand new module, and the Cyberpunk customization. Now, everything is not free. As you can see here, the Cyberpunk customization pack is $24.99 included in the past volume 3, which I've decided not to get. Is it worth it? If you're into customization, then sure, but otherwise, I'd give it a skip. Now, I'm going to do things a bit differently. Three cars, three multiplayer races, one race for each car, and I'm going to use the Mystery Machine in the first race because, for me, it's the one I wanted to use most. I'm hoping that it's good i did not get that perfect start but it's fine let's hope that this car is good and not horrid it feels heavy yeah it feels quite heavy but i'm gonna make it a mission to main this now i'm in a very difficult lobby i don't know why i tried to avoid that because the monster truck could just killed it for me like it did but yeah uh, i did just try one race with this and uh, let's just say it was very difficult i had to fly considering this is heavy i did not understand how to do it yet so it didn't count okay this is the first race essentially but this is also a very tough lobby. We have Alpha in here. We have Jota. We have Sotomni, if I said your name correctly. Spacious Sweep is always a little flying machine. And this car seems quite slow. But I also want to try Donatello. That car, it, it's literally right in front of me. It looks so sleek. And it just looks like it'll be quick, thankfully. Because the others are a bit bulky other than the blue, the other blue one. I forgot its name for some reason. But even then, the red one, Raphael, that's still a sick car. I, I used that online. I remember I was good with it. But look, yeah, I'm not doing anything wrong. These guys are just... Their cars are much better. Look, they're pulling away so much easier. It's not like they've disappeared. I'm still... I can see them. But it's not like I can get to them. Like, look, they're all just gone. I also want to say, Pixel series, don't worry, it's not gone. I'm trying to sort something out with it, uh, which I hope you guys will enjoy when it... Oh, my God. When it's uh, up again. Now, I'm in seventh. My lucky number. Spacious sweeps death. I feel like he slowed down so he didn't hit me. I don't really know. If he did, he's a legend. I think he did. Uh-oh. Thank God that we both kind of nailed that. Look, though, yeah. Have I done anything wrong? No, I'm doing exactly what he's doing. He's just disappearing because his car is quicker. Everyone's there, slowly disappearing, slowly pulling away. This car is not usable, sirs, and women's. Yes, I know, I, they, those are not words, I just wanted to say it. I guess this is the perfect time to do the wiggle technique. Jota's wiggle technique. If you guys don't know what that... Seriously? If you guys don't know what that is, essentially, when you don't have boost, you press LT, one direction, one direction, one direction. Okay, that's really not a good tutorial, is it? So you press LT and you shake it left, then you shake it right and press LT again, if that makes sense. So it has to be simultaneously. You can't just hold LT, otherwise it won't work. So you have to do LT, then left, LT, then right, and then repeat that. And it should generate boost for you. I don't know how to do it properly. Oh, I don't think I know how to do it. I may know how to do it. I just think I don't know how to do it. Oh, no. But even then, I think it's not going to matter. It's not going to catch up. But I think it's just a good time to attempt it you know because oh my god <laughs> this is horrid i have nothing else to do it's not like i'm gonna catch so i might as well try it i also want to say um i can't lie i'm a bit disappointed right oh hello there sir so i guess i'm gonna be last right that's nice i'm disappointed because they're still making it so you have to pay for everything like that is unfathomable you have to pay 24 pounds for the cyberpunk customization i'm guessing it's for the volume pass 3 as well but if you think about that isn't it 24 pounds for each customization? So there's, well, each volume pass. So there's been three, right? That's 20, 40, 60. I'm pretty sure, even more because you have the four quid on top of that. I'm pretty sure that is more than the game, the original game. And I don't find that to be something too uh, great in my opinion. Oh my God, he died. And I won't even lie, it kind of puts me off the game. I'm legit playing this because of the mystery machine. I love Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Raggy? I can't lie, this is sick. I, I I don't think they could have done more with this car in, in terms of its speed and handling. Like, it has to be a bit heavier and clunkier, but I feel like, imagine they could have just made it some speed demon. You, oh, I don't know if you guys know this or have seen the movies. The cyberspace movie, the Scooby-Doo one where the, it's obviously the cartoon one, not the uh, not the real life ones. Oh my God, I hit it again. But the one in cyberspace where they versed that blue thing, I forgot its name, the blue digital demon thing. But they go to like different things because they're in a video game and they, they have different versions of their car essentially because it's in different times. So obviously one was in like the Jurassic era, one was on the moon, one was in the Colosseums. And essentially one was like a space rover with the mystery machine design, one was a chariot. And it would just be so cool if they included some of like that. But obviously that's just like, oh my god, seriously? 
Seriously? Seriously? You've just killed all of Scooby. <laughs> That's probably the worst impression that I've done because I, I've never... Oh my god. I've never really attempted it. Fred, can you not drive, bro? I've never really attempted it. This is the first time I attempted it and it sounds alright to me. Well, this was this was horrible. I would literally just got to speak to you guys for the whole thing. If you enjoyed that, leave a like for me. But next is Donatello. Here we go. It's Donatello's attempt. You know what? This car is sick. It just looks sleek. Not too sleek. It looks like a car that would have been taken by Lamborghini and made into a 4x4 just because it's it's like a 4x4 and it's become sleek wow that's very quick okay i'm happy that at least one of the bigger cars is actually quite good because i wished that the scooby-doo mystery machine was a lot better i'm gonna be so angry about that because i really wanted that to be a car that would have been perfect but sadly it's not oh my god okay spacious sweeps kind of just taking the lead here i don't want to hit him because obviously oh yeah look, they're doing the wiggle i don't know how to do it i mean we both flew but he flew exceptionally higher than oh I did okay i don't think this is gonna be uh, my day this is gonna be the day where i mess up a lot well, no i didn't even mess up there did i i was literally just boosting and then i i decided to ramp his car for some reason well my car decided to do it and then i flew so now i've got some work to do i'm in ninth place let's try and see if i can catch up oh my god thank god i didn't hit that but spacious sweeps at the back here as well so maybe i messed him up if i did i'm sorry sir there's the mystery machine look you can see every car is just slowly passing it so it's quite obvious that the car is just not that good is it oh the night shift is trying to absolutely eliminate it sir who is this my tummy hurts but i will absolutely annihilate you leave that car alone stop beefing the mystery machine no mystery machine i got you i got what the hell how did you do that mystery machine i got you look i got you okay sir Koenig's egg, go away. I'm not aiming for you. I'm aiming for you. Well, I mean, I overtook it, so I can't really slow down and get it now. I'm trying to see if I can catch up for the positions that I lost. I don't think it's even going to be possible because it's going to be Alpha at the top, Jota, RJ Radovich, all very, very good racers. So this is going to be almost impossible. I know that uh, Spacious Sweep literally just crossed the corner of my screen as well. So he's probably flying like an eagle. This car, you know what? I have to say this car is, is very good though. I'm, I'm happy that at least the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cars are getting a bit more uh, better, I should say. I, like I say, I still say that. Raphael was still amazing, even though it's a big car. What? Monster truck? Oh, wait. There's no checkpoints, is there? So I think... Is that Jota? I don't know. I think whoever it is has just cut the whole thing, and I think it actually worked. No, it's not Jota. I don't know who it is, then. He's ahead, though. The, the, the monster truck got ahead, so it, it is a strat, but... Fifth place is okay, I'd say, considering we had that huge crash. Hey, so Tomney in the plankton, you know what? That is fully rated. If I wasn't doing this video, I would join you, my boy. Now we jump into He-Man. You know what? The theme has kind of been big cars. You know what? If I don't win, I'm hoping so Tomney wins. I guess Alpha's going to win because she's just overpowered. If I hit you, I'm sorry, sir. Or miss, I should say. You're not a sir. Uh-oh. Am I good? I think I'm good. Ow! Somehow, I'm okay. Plankton. Oh, my God. What just happened to me? I don't know what happened. But that seemed planned. Why? Look, it's not my day. I'm back in ninth. This is horrid. Move. Oh, it's Jota. No, no, no. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Look, I, you know you're my boy, Jota, okay? I'm just angry because I've been absolutely killed every single race. Oh, my God. Then again, so did he. Oh, it's RJ. <laughs> He's always in monster trucks to be there. You know what? Cars aren't that far ahead. They're saying that I've only taken one position and this car is slow. Let's go. Wait, is this Alpha? No, it's not. Oh my God. I mean, there you go. I saved that for you, boy. Ow, ow, ow. That's my booty. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, Swy. So I... Oh my God. I won't even lie. Can I make this? Ow. I won't even lie to you guys. I don't think this car's worth it either. So don't get this car. If you want to, get it. But I would stick to just Donatello. If you want Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine, just for the nostalgia and just to say that you have the Mystery Machine, I'd say get it. But it's really not that good. I'm, I've only used it one race and I am kind of in probably the hardest lobby on the, on the game right now. But I don't think it's going to be that good of a vehicle. It just, it's just very slow. I'm going to... Jeez, he tried to kill me. It's gonna remain very slow. I'm gonna try to main it because it is the mystery machine, but I, it's not gonna go very well. I can guarantee you that. You know what? Conan's like here, right? I just want seventh. If I can get seventh, I'm happy because seven is my lucky number. So, oh my God. Well, there we go. There's seventh. Oh, RJ nearly died, but saved himself. Wait, if I stay close, where did he go there? Has Crooks made a map that does not have checkpoints? Yes, he has. Wow, Crooks. What are you doing? I'm not even going to use my boost. Wait, he just went off the side as well, so I'm confused. I'm going to go down here. Swag. Now, if you guys want a shout out, all you have to do 
Let me know your favorite car out of these three. And the shout outs from the previous video up on screen here. And I also want to know from you guys, let me know in the comments. How do you feel about having to pay for every single DLC other than the odd free car? Tell you, I'm not too happy about it. Like I said, it has put me off the game. Someone's finished, nice. I mean, this car is just, it's tragic. I won't even lie, it just feels so slow. The boost bars, I don't get why they haven't either buffed boost bars or just removed them, because what's the point? If you have a boost bar and a boost blip, it's obvious which car is gonna win. But now we will get on to the track module. So I'll see you guys there. Ready? Now we've jumped into the mystery machine because I wanna see how this falling towers module works. So some of it goes up, some of it go, oh my God, don't do it in this then. Well, it looks green. What? I wanna know what, that is so confusing. I'm gonna guess when it's red, that one is going to send you far. Or maybe it doesn't work as well, but let's go back around. Okay, so it's red again. Green. Oh my god. That gives you some speed boost. Wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. So now it's going to be this side, right? Okay, no, that's blocked. So some of it's going to be blocked and some of it's going to be open. I see. So it's different. So underneath it, I'll show you guys quickly. You can see over here that it has different parts to it so sometimes it'll be open with a little ramp sometimes it won't be so spacious sweep's gonna love that because he's gonna be flying everywhere but i want to try and go over the ramp successfully go 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 oh we did it we did it we did it okay that's how it works it's just in the mystery machine it's a bit weird because it bubbles and it just lifts straight up but essentially it's like a tiny little speed boost ramp that's pretty cool i guess so there we have it we tested out the three cars and the module we looked at the customization for basement not really worth it in my opinion but the cars they're okay the mystery machine is kind of a disappointment i wish it was a bit quicker and handled a bit better donatello is the highlight of the whole expansion dlc whatever it is called i forgot it's just a very good car overall the He-Man is okay. I feel like I probably didn't do it enough justice in that video. It may be better than it seems, but it did feel quite slow anyway. I couldn't really catch anyone. And the boost bar was just horrid on it. The tower module, that's okay. I feel like that's the kind of module that's good because obviously you have uh, players like Alpha. They're very skilled. She's very good. But that could be something that balances the field because you don't really know which one's going to pop up. And if you just smack into it, that could stop her and the races behind could catch up. That That's interesting. I like that one. Overall, I would say it's okay. It's a bit disappointing because you have to pay for everything once again. Kind of lets me down, but that's why we got a second video. Now, I know I haven't done it as often as I said I would, but it's because I didn't realize. So obviously, I'm trying to make better videos for you guys. So I spend a lot of time editing. I literally wake up, edit the whole day, especially if it's two videos, because I want to do like special edits cuts effects that pop up and i want to make it fun for you guys so it takes longer because i'm not really an editor i'm not a graphic designer or anything like that so i'm trying to learn everything as i go along thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video goodbye